Fanless and eerily quiet Timbers and Thorns games will soon be a thing of the past. And the team's president of business, Mike Golub, couldn't be any happier. Really exciting day for us and uh, really for our fans who have just been uh, itching to come back. Come April, approximately 6,500 fans, that's 25% of Providence Park's capacity, will be allowed inside the stadium to cheer on the Timbers and Thorns. We are just so hungry to see our fans back. It's going to be a really momentous day. The elation comes in the wake of the Oregon Health Authority's announcement Wednesday. 50% occupancy will now be allowed at outdoor sporting and entertainment events in lower risk counties. In the case of the Timbers and Thorns, 25% occupancy in moderate risk counties, 15% occupancy in high risk counties, and a max of 50 people in extreme risk counties. We're just so excited that we're finally going to be able to see you after a really long and stressful year for everyone. Hopefully we can recreate some of those moments some magic and we're looking forward to all the energy you bring to all of our games fantastic news exciting to know that you guys can be back in the stadium with us we can't wait to see you feel your love feel your energy from the thorns head coach to a timber star player there's nothing better than the idea of playing in front of fans but who exactly Golub says the teams will first offer tickets to season ticket holders and they can expect to see covid safety protocols at providence park We're going to have staggered entrances and and certain paths um, through the stadium that are designated and up aisles and down aisles. And we're going to be completely cashless. Uh, we're going to have mobile ordering. Not to mention a number of other safety measures. All of it, Golub says, was planned with players, stadium staff, and fans in mind. We are fully confident um, that we are going to have a very safe, secure in environment. It's also worth mentioning the Hillsboro Hops will be able to fill their stadium to 25% capacity when their season starts in early May. Team President K.L. Wambacher saying the team couldn't be more thrilled. I also reached out to the Oregon School Activities Association. The executive director says these new capacity limits will impact outdoor high school events like football. To what extent, though, is unclear. OSAA is awaiting further direction from the Oregon Health Authority. I'm Mike Benner for KGW News.